Hello everyone, this is Lean and welcome back to the YouTube channel from Rochelle Anna Miller. Now today I am showcasing uh, this digital stamp called Cute Coast, which is part of the new release that will be available the 16th of September. Now this adorable digital stamp is going to be released along with some incredible other digital stamps so definitely check out instagram facebook to see what the design team is creating as some inspiration for you because there is many more to see than only this adorable ghost of course now i i printed i printed this digital stamp onto transotype perfect coloring paper which is the paper that i use for my alcohol markers now I decided to create a purple ghost and then just continue with purple so this card is completely purple which I truly adore as well so um, I hope that you do too there will be some purple combinations uh, shown here also if you want to revisit the color combinations you can check out my blog post but also in the description box I'm listing the combinations because these cards that I show here are mostly uh, coloring videos of course uh, so I think that can be handy for you if there is a combination that you like it's just listed down below. Now I'm trying to have my shadows on the right side and I'm leaving this slightly wide border on the edge of my ghost. Why? Because this can give the illusion of something that is rounded um, if you look at a bottle, for example, you will also see that there is a line <laughs> because of the lighting, lighting and then behind there is more. So it's to get that sort of an effect. I'm also doing a lot of flicking into the white area. I don't want this ghost to be completely purple. It's not necessary. I want it to have the illusion of being translucent but with a purple shade. So once I'm happy with that ghost, I'm continuing with the balloons. Now this one is going to be a really dark balloon and I am going to reuse the color combination that I used here on one of the others, but just limiting uh, the amount of markers, I'm not using the darkest one. So that way I have two purple combinations with almost exactly the same markers, just leaving one out. And that's really a way to extend the amount of combinations you might be able to create with your markers that you have at home. So definitely try it out. Sometimes it's just changing it up, getting rid of one of the markers or adding one or um, depending on how many markers you're using in one combination, you can leave out two or three. Um, just do whatever you feel comfortable, but don't think that three markers together is the only combination that you can make with those three. You can definitely make two other combinations by eliminating the darkest and the lightest marker ones. Um, or you can leave out the mid-tone and then you can do tip to tip and you will also get a fabulous combination. So this one is more of a bluish grayish purple. A really soft one I really like it I think it would also be lovely on a baby card um, and I'm just trying to get that shadow again on the right side as I did for the cute ghost and then I'm blending out I'm starting with my darkest marker but if you start with a light base coat that's perfectly fine and build up from there whatever you feel comfortable with whatever gets the result that you want to get that's the way you should use your markers it's all about having fun and of course liking what you're doing I just find that for me personally it works best if I go from darkest to lightest and I can return every time if I need to um, also with this paper I experience that with two layers I get a nicer blend at least but I must admit purples are one of those family well, color families that I find really hard to get a nice blend with um, and it's really all about going back and forth it's like that <laughs> and then there are other color families that go so smoothly like blues or greens and well <laughs> but um, it's worth the effort 
Here I'm using the same combination as I did for the first balloon, but as I said, I'm leaving out that darkest V09 if I'm not mistaken. And that already changed it up. You can see that the lightest color is sort of similar, but it's way softer than the first balloon. Also here on the right, as you can see, I'm again trying to leave a small border uh, white. Well, I will use one of the lighter markers to go over it, uh, but also the, to give the illusion that it's rounded, that there is more behind it. Um, it's something that I saw by Amy. Amy. I can't recall the complete name. Is it Amy Young? I don't know. Uh, but she does some coloring classes on Facebook for free and she's incredible, she makes those scenes that are crazy difficult in my opinion but she makes it seem so easy and I love um, seeing her color and that's something. this is something that I saw her doing and it's genius I don't do it all the time but from time to time I leave that border and I think it really adds something that being said I fixed the mistakes in all those round areas and then we will continue with creating the card. We do not need to color anymore. Now for the sentiment, I have this really handy stamp set called Itty Bitty Boost from my favorite things which is filled with sentiments Halloween uh, related uh, which I love. And then you have, of course, the punny sentiments inside of it, like I'm using today. Hope your day is spectacular. I just love puns. I'm going to use one of my favorite basic uh, dies from my favorite things, being the Blueprint 27. Now you get this amazing panel with some lovely edges and stitching details. So I just line it up and then I'm going to die cut this panel out so that we can continue with the card. Now the sentiments, I decided that I wanted to keep going with the purple theme. Um, I could have stamped the sentiment in black of course because I have the black outline from the image. Um, but I decided to use the Concord and Ninth ink eggplant. It's similar to the purples that I used and I also trimmed down an A2 size panel of the eggplant cardstock from Concord and Ninth to fit behind my spectacular panel. So I just added that using some adhesive roller and I apparently trimmed it a bit crooked so I just trim off the excess. A small fix and then I will use some Big Mama foam tape. This one is from Simon Says Stamp. It's a thinner foam tape than you normally have, which I really, really like. It's sort of similar to the thickness of thin foam squares from Scrabble Adhesive, if you're familiar with that. Uh, one of my favorite adhesives. So once I trimmed those excess slivers off, I could place this panel on top of my card base. So I'm just making sure that I'm filling the back of this panel completely with foam tape. It's not necessary, not everyone does it. I do it to create a really sturdy card. I don't want to mail things and that it gets to the recipient and there are some creases in it and stuff. So just to avoid that, I'm, I'm backing my panels completely. I used some liquid glue on the top of my foam tape. Why? Because it, this gives you a bit of wiggle room uh, to adhere your panel and get it straight on top of your card base. So that might be handy to know. Um, and then I'm of course finishing my card using some glossy accents all over the balloons. I love adding glossy accents on balloons. I think it really adds something. Um, also gives that rounded look again. And uh, yeah, just taking my time, filling everything up. My glossy accent is sort of running out, um, but no issues. I have some spare ones. Going first around the edges to help me not going outside of the, the edges. 
and then I'm filling up the balloon. See, I was struggling, it's really, it's really getting empty. And that's going to be it. I'm not going to add anything more to this card. You can definitely embellish more if you want to. But I decided to stop right here. And this is my card a bit up close. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that I might inspire you to do something like this in the future. Again, the release is going live the 16th of September and I cannot wait to see what you will create. I want to thank you all for stopping by and I wish you a fabulous day and I'll be back soon with some new crafty inspiration. Bye!